hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this jumping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition and we will call it as main animation width I am going to choose 1920, height is 180 and frame rate is 30 and duration I am going to choose 10 seconds only and background color let's choose black color and hit ok and hit ok choose grid and guide option and hit title section then press ctrl n on your keyboard to create another composition let's call this as a and width i am going to choose 300 and height i am going to choose 180 only and hit ok then select this rectangle tool and i am going to create one rectangle over here like that then press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center then align it horizontally press v for selection tool and select this text i mean shape layer and bring this over here press y on your keyboard to select your pen behind tool and by holding ctrl i'll snap this at the edge of this shape like that now select this press s for scaling option and unlink this and let's make it zero or let's say 10 or let's say 50 and i'm going to create one keyframe and go to around let's say 20 frames and let's make it let's make this into fit and let's make it somewhere over here now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this over here select this handle let's move this over here like this now we will select this keyframe and let's move to the 10 frames so we'll get something like this yeah now we will select our text tool and by i'm going to type a select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally press s and let's decrease the size of it to 70 press p for position and let's move this over here yep this looks good to me yeah now right click new and i'm going to create one null object now select this null object press ctrl alt hope to align that anchor point to the center select your selection tool and bring this or somewhere over here in middle of this a now i'm going to select this a and i'll make it parent with this null one now select this null one press p for position create one keyframe over here go to around one second again create another keyframe and go to around two and again create another keyframe now at to one second i'll move this null object over here like that now select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here then select this handle move this somewhere around over here and select this one move this somewhere around over here so if you see now we will get something like this now at this point what i want uh, i'll copy the first keyframe i'll hit ctrl c ctrl v and let's see what we will get get something like this yeah now we will select those keyframes and we'll, let's check out this option and we'll go to the graph editor over here we are getting something like that so i'll select this graph and i'll move this handle over here and this handle over here so this is gonna rest a little bit slower like that yep this looks good to me now i'll click alt and i'll type loop out expression on them hit ctrl a to copy hit ctrl i mean hit ctrl a to select all of them hit ctrl c to copy this expression alt click on this position stopwatch and hit ctrl v so we will get this kind of animation now we will select this null object press r for rotation create one keyframe go to around two seconds and let's make one complete rotation like that now select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and this handle over here and let's see we will get something like this 
now again i'll click on the stopwatch and hit ctrl v to copy that expression so we'll get something like this yep now we will select this a we'll move this over here like that press s and let's make it 50 around yeah now let's move this over here like this press p for position hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's move this over here zoom in a little bit by holding shift let's move this over here like this now select both the layers and press p to check out their position as you can see this is 685 and this is 859 so i'll open my calculator and let's do some maths over here 685 minus 589 and hit ok the answer is 96 so we have what we need to do we will select this hit ctrl d press p select this value and simply add 96 on it like that hit ctrl d press p select this add 96 on it and if you want then you can move them a little bit backward and forward like this or you can again select all of them hit ctrl d to all of them let's move this over here press p and i'll move all of them like that hit, hit u like this hit ctrl d press p and let's move this somewhere around over here like that so if i say this now we'll get this kind of stuff yeah now we have this a i'll hit ctrl d in my project window double click on it and select this text and hit ctrl t to select our text tool and let's type capital n select this pro uh, what we call composition hit enter and type n go to the main animation i'll select this select this n and by holding alt i'll simply drag and drop on this one so it will replace that select this n hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as i hit ok double click to open this composition and select this text and type i select this seventh layer and by holding alt i'll simply drag and drop on that and so it will replace that select this i hit ctrl d hit enter let's call it as m hit ok double click select this i and type m go to the main animation select this sixth layer and by holding alt roll alt hold i'll drag and drop on this a should be like that then select this m hit ctrl d hit enter let's call it as t double click on it to open that let's make it t and a and i m a t so by holding alt i'll drag and drop on this then we have i already so i'll select this i and i'll drag and drop on this one then i'll select this t hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as o double click on it let's make it o I'll select the second layer and by holding alt i'll drag and drop on this one then we have n also in our composition so i'll select this a and by holding alt i'll drag and drop on this one so we have animation text like that and now what we need to do we need some distance in each of our animations so let's move this over here let's if i move this over here we'll get something like this so instead of 5 and let's zoom in a little bit let's take a 10 frames distance let's zoom in and we will move this to 5 then this to 10 frames 15 20 25 1 over here and this one over here like that now i'll select all of them hit ctrl a hold alt and open bracket and let's go to the start and move this over here 
like that so we will get this kind of animation and if i go to the 2 and if i hit n i'll get looping animation because if you see in our a our final keyframe is at the 2 so uh, if i complete my animation at 2 seconds this is gonna be in the form of loop and press ctrl y on your keyboard to create one background layer and bring it downwards right click new and create one null object bring this at the top select all of them make it apparent with this null select this null press s and you can scale it at appropriate size you want then right click new and create one adjustment layer you can go to the effect and presets panel and you can search for tint effect you can apply this and you can swap these colors like that let's make this quarter resolution so with the help of this kind of technique you can create any text animation like that you want select this null object press s let's scale it down like this yeah hit u select all of them uh, not this adjustment layer but all the text and null object press ctrl shift c let's we copy this hit ctrl d press s unlink this let's make it minus 100 press p and let's bring this downwards like that press s again and let's make it minus 70 press p and let's move this over here press t and let's make it 50 so if you see we will get this kind of stuff with a little bit of reflection like this so this is how you can create one simple loading animation and looping animation of text so I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then, stay tuned.